you're thinking about downsizing to a smaller home, there are some things you'll want to think about. Today we're talking about the pros and the cons of downsizing. So, oh, yeah, yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs> we have our money expert Bruce Helmer with us now. Hi, Bruce. Good morning. Okay, so downsizing, a lot of people do this maybe after the kids are out of the house. Looking for a little bit, you know, smaller space, yeah, yeah. less to do. Or they yeah. say talk about doing it. Yeah, well, again, right. there's a lot of issues. There's a lot of things to consider. Yeah. One of the things that always comes up is that I'm surprised at. People still think that if they sell their house, they're going to have an income tax problem because they have to pay taxes on the gain. But you can actually exclude $250,000 per person. So a married couple could sell their house for $500,000 a gain. If they bought it for $200,000 and sold it for $700,000, there's no tax consequence oh, to that. They only have to oh. pay taxes on any gain over $500,000 wow. or two fifty dollars per person. So some people that hesitate because they're worried about the taxes, you probably don't have that much gain where you're going to have to pay taxes. All right, on don't worry about that. Okay. But there are some things you need to talk about. And one uh, category we want to start with is the idea of cutting costs. Yeah, so what I see a lot is people that want to downsize. It's really maybe more right size. Maybe they want to get onto one level or not have to mow their lawn or sure. whatever. Mm -hmm. But to get a nice place that, that, that meets their lifestyle, they find they don't save any money. The downsize property might cost as much or more, uh, or more than the property that they're selling. Mm -hmm. So that the idea that they're going to cut costs, sometimes it works, but oftentimes it doesn't. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the home sale kind of doubling as a secondary income. Right. Uh, how does that work? So again, if you sell your first house, the one you've lived in all yep. these years, and you buy another one that doesn't cost as much, now you've got this extra money to use for lifestyle. And again, sometimes that works, but sometimes it doesn't. But I'm having more and more clients, it seems, uh, sell their house, and rather than go purchase another property, they go on some kind of a senior rental. So now they don't have to put all that money down. They just have monthly rent. So now they do have the proceeds. <laughs> from selling the first house available oh. to them to help supplement their income. But the reality is, like, not everybody's selling their home for $700,000, no. right? No. So, like, you're no. not necessarily, <laughs> this downsizing process isn't, necessarily going to be the income that maybe you were hoping. No, for. and again, they have to look at it very carefully. The location is going to matter. What, what what you want to move to is going to matter. And the other thing that comes into play is emotion. On the one hand, you're looking for a new phase of your life, your empty nesters, you're going to start over. But how do the adult kids feel when they come home and it's not the house that they grew do up they in? Do they get anymore? a say if they're adult well, kids? Well, they don't get a say, but it is emotional. <laughs> there is nostalgia. Yeah. Or maybe mom and dad you know, are a little misty about leaving the place where they raised their family. It is hard. Uh, we're going through this with uh, my in-laws and they would like to down well one would like to downsize <laughs> one, oh, boy. that's but another important <laughs> point do you both agree on it financially it doesn't always work out no. you know because yeah. you're maybe you've paid off your house right so yeah your utility costs are higher yes now you have to hire someone to mow the lawn or have Jason come over and <laughs> you know, do whatever but the the truth is buying a new place you know your taste have changed yeah. and you're not going to move into it too absolutely it might be financially beneficial, but it's not a sure thing. Yeah. Okay. Good Thanks, stuff Bruce. to think about. Thank you. You can see Bruce right here on Mid Morning every Tuesday and get more financial advice on his show, Your Money, on CCO Radio. Just tune in Sunday mornings from 8:30 to 9:30. And if you have a financial question, you can call that number right there, 8886 Advice. Leave a message, and Bruce might answer your question on his show.